If there's one thing you feel when you enter the Cochran House in Brush Park, <laughs> it's sisterly love. That's Rodriga and Francina James. We caught up with them last year, sharing how they renovated a 19th century mansion to create a luxury bed and breakfast right outside Comerica Park. So this room has a small balcony out back. This is a queen size bed. But something that's always run in tandem with their successful business is a desire to give back. And I tell people this all the time, even if it's down to your last cent, if you give it out, it will come back. That giving spirit gave way to the Cochran House nonprofit, and that was even before their bed and breakfast was bustling. So you had a plan to give mm -hmm. before you even knew yes. you guys were going to be as successful as you. We didn't even know we were going to open our doors. <laughs> but we knew. <laughs> what we did know is once we did, we wanted to be an impact on our community. The nonprofit is now also known as the Mary Frances Almond James Youth Organization, renamed to honor their late mother. My mom has always had a heart for giving. So even in her business, she was giving, 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 giving. Through their nonprofit, Rodrika and Francina give back to the youth in the community through educational initiatives, mentorship, resources, and so much more. One of their biggest events, partnering with schools at the end of the year to make sure kids have a memorable holiday. Basically, in her name, we uh, give out toys for Christmas every year to children. Last year, so 2022, we were able to service 41 families and 107 children. And they're not just focused on their own nonprofit. They have a plan to lift up other local nonprofits, too, teaming up with Monica Marie Jones Coaching to really make a difference this year. Local grassroots nonprofits that we've chosen for them to come into our space, talk to the women here, um, raise funds for the things that they need. The sisters already have 10 events scheduled at the Cochran House to help garner support for local nonprofits. I mean, we want to be here for them because everybody is here for us. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's what we appreciate the most. It all goes back to that feeling of community, fueled by that sisterly love that Francina and Rodrika try to give everyone who walks through the doors of the Cochran House. It's work that would undoubtedly make their mom proud. She poured into us an awful lot. And um, we do this for her. And... Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> but we, we do this for her and she would she would look up and she would say, my girls are doing exactly what I told them to do. In Detroit, Alexandra Bahu, 7 Action News.